Have you ever wondered why despite all efforts rheumatoid arthritis still seems to have upper hand or why some people suddenly go from constant pain to living almost normal lives? What if I told you there is a new generation of medications that have completely changed the way we fight this rheumatoid arthritis disease, giving you hope to millions of people who once felt defeated with RA. Hi, this is Dr. Nanda Subedi, the rheumatoid arthritis coach at The Room Doc. Today, I want to share with you the game changers in rheumatoid arthritis treatment, the biologics. These are not just another set of pills. They are targeted therapies that go far into the root cause of inflammation, helping you regain control and rewrite your rheumatoid arthritis story. You might wonder, what are biologics? Biologic DMARDs are a newer generation of medication to treat rheumatoid arthritis. Instead of broadly suppressing your immune system, biologics act like guided missiles, zeroing in on the specific molecule or cells that drive inflammation in the rheumatoid arthritis. Imagine a therapy so precise it calms your immune system without shutting it down completely. That's the power of biologic. Typically, rheumatologists prescribe biologics when conventional medication like methotrexate are not enough or sometimes even earlier if your RA is specially aggressive. Because biologics are protein that are given as injections or IV infusions, your stomach would break them down if you take them as pills. Now let's talk about the types of biologic DMARC. There are four Four main types of biologic DMARDs, each targeting a different part of the immune system. The number one and the most commonly used include the TNF inhibitors. TNF or tumor necrosic factor is a major on switch for inflammation. TNF inhibitors like Humira, Enbrel, and Remicade block this switch reducing joint pain, swelling, and damage. For many, these drugs have been life-changing, often leading to remission in rheumatoid arthritis, but they do suppress part of your immune system, so you will need to be careful for screening and monitoring to avoid infections like TB and hepatitis. The next class of medication are called IL-6 blockers or inhibitors. IL-6 is another key protein driving inflammation and symptoms like fatigue. Drugs like Actimbra or Kevzara block IL-6 offering relief when TNF inhibitors are not enough. This drug do require regular blood test monitoring to monitor your cholesterol and liver health. The third category of medication are called T-cell activation inhibitors. The common one being used is a bad accept. T cells are immune soldiers that, when overactive, keep inflammation going. A bad accept helps calm these cells down. It's often used if other biologics have not worked well, and it is generally has a good safety profile. The fourth category of medication include B cell depleting therapy such as rituximab. B cell can create harmful antibodies in rheumatoid arthritis. Rituximab temporarily removes these cells to reduce inflammation. It is given as infusion every six months and is usually reserved for patients who need much stronger medications and other medication hasn't worked very well. I know that living with rheumatoid arthritis can feel overwhelming. The fatigue, the pain, the uncertainty, it can weigh heavily on your heart and the soul. But biologics offer real hope. They have allowed countless people to regain strength, return to their passion and live a fuller, more vibrant life. If you are struggling with RA and want a compassionate science-backed guide to not just survive, but thrive, I wrote a new book called Holistic Rheumatoid Arthritis Guide. Take control, find relief, and thrive just for you. This book is my labor of love created to empower you with knowledge, practical strategy, and inspiration to take control of your health and life despite RA diagnosis. You can find the link to buy the book in the comment below. This is Dr. Nanda Subedi, your rheumatoid arthritis coach, and I'm here to guide you in your fight against rheumatoid arthritis. Unfortunately, rheumatoid arthritis attack you, but do not let it defeat you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might benefit from this information. Stay strong, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.